This is the excitement of victory. In a town near today's major battle, cars bearing rebel fighters race to the front line. Their comrades splash water on them and cheer. When word came in of an apparent rebel victory down the road, this was a scene of wild celebration. But now these fighters are rushing to get a new shipment of weapons ready for any possible counterattack. The battle began with an assault by government troops before dawn and included bombing runs by Gaddafi's warplanes. They are uh, bombing us by a uh, very big bomb. By late afternoon, the rebels were on the offensive. Down the road, survivors arrived at a chaotic emergency room. They are mercenaries from Africa attacking us with rockets and missiles, this man said. We tucked him behind a truck loaded with ammunition and headed for the front line. Smoke was rising from an area hit by bombs. But when we arrived in El Brega itself, the town was back in rebel hands. We're at the center of Al Brega and people are out in force celebrating the fact that they've managed to push out pro-Gaddafi troops. But those troops are just down the road and the rebels are chasing them further out of town. This is the prize Gaddafi's men were after, a massive oil shipment terminal. When we saw it on Monday, it was intact but idle. Today, this employee was on the front line defending it, and he assured us it was safe. The crowd was venting its fury on Gaddafi's green flag, but these men weren't stopping to savor their victory for long. There was a traffic jam headed out of town to the next fight down the road. The next town over has another crucial oil facility, which has changed hands several times over the past few days. After that comes the town of Sirte, which is a Gaddafi stronghold and could be the rebels' biggest challenge so far. Mandy, how big a victory was this battle today for the rebels? Well, it could be a turning point. They've been actually firing fireworks off here in Benghazi. The fact that Gaddafi's forces tried this bold strike and were defeated has certainly been a shot in the arm for the rebels. And many fighters we spoke to say they're ready to march on Tripoli. Katie. Mandy Clark reporting from Benghazi, Libya tonight. Thank you.